Singles, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date today. Are divinely guided, everything has free will, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles can be reversed between you and that person. And with this said, let's move forward. Let's see what is coming for my Libra singles. So we have here the Ten of Wands. We got here the Eight of Wands. Ooh, we got here a lot of fire. We got here Sagittarius energy. A lot of Sagittarius energy here. We got here a Leo energy with the Five of Wands. One card at a time. We got here Libra energy. And over all here, we got here Seven of Pentacles with Taurus, the Sun with Leo. And at the bottom here, we got the Magician with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So with the Ten of Wands right here, let's see. Um, I do feel that like you guys are nearly completed with the struggles, obligations are burnt out. I do feel like you have been going through a rush. I'm not like not rush, but like harsh time here within love and within life. I feel like you're almost done. You don't know this, but you're almost done. There's going to be sudden changes coming your way. There's going to be a speed in this sudden changes. I do feel like there's going to be people wanting to date you. I feel like there's going to be like, I don't know where, like suddenly people asking you out, being interested in you or people that you may find attractive that you may be interested in, but there's going to be sudden changes in your life. That's going to bring excitement. It's going to bring movement into your energies as well. There's also like quick decisions that needs to be made. I do feel like you tend to overthink a lot, but I feel like this changes or this situation are going to happen so quickly that it's going to actually require you to make quick decisions um with the five of ones right here um i do and the three of swords right here i do feel are you okay puppy come on come on he wanted to say hi guys say hi you gotta go closer so you can see yourself you see that hi so see you later hi okay mama gonna work okay all done. Mm, all done. Love you. Okay. So anyways, as yeah. I said before, uh, there could be uh, tensions and like conflicts and like I do feel like this could be insecurities in your energies due to, you know, past heartbreaks and betrayals. And I do feel like... Um, you had had like a bad rep when it comes to love, you know, a lot of disappointment. So whenever this this new energies wanted to show up into your life, you're going to be like uh, questioning, overthinking. This could be just energetically. You'd be like doubting their int their intentions, doubting what they want, doubting that if you want to work this out with them, doubting if you want to invest in it because you have been hurt before. So you're like, oh, no, this is just going to mess me up in any way, shape or form. Now. I do feel with the seven of pentacles right here, I do feel like you are overthinking it, but also focusing on the worst case scenarios. I do feel like the universe is actually giving you a reward thanks to your patience. You know, we live, we learn, and I do feel like you are actually being very diligent and very persistent. And I see that you're going to see progress, not only on your love life as well, but I also see in your finance, uh, finances as well. Um, I do feel like there is a new beginning for you, Libra. There is a sense of happiness and success. There is definitely a new energy coming your way. I do feel like it's a fire sign, a new person coming in. This person brings joy, <coughs> brings excitement, brings innocence. I do feel like you have been very damaged by other people and you carry all these negative possibilities and your energies and this person is going to show you a different side of love or a different possibility of love. Um, with the magician right here, just so you know that you have power and you have great skill, but you are a master manifester and you have all the tools that you need to make life a lot better for you. Some of you question if you are worthy of love or if you are attractive. Some of you 
go like i just don't know if i'm worthy of love or i just don't know if i'm attractive enough to be loved just so you know libra you are extremely attractive you are very beautiful inside and out and i do feel like you know you did encounter bad people in your life that makes you question that but i do feel you need to brush that off because you are extremely attractive you are more than worthy of love and just so you know everything is going to work just fine for you and i do feel like you need to regain that confidence so you can actually project that so people know exactly how to treat you sometimes when we are very doubtful over yourself ourselves we give people the upper hand to treat us the way we feel but the way we don't want and sometimes like i said before whenever we feel like bad about ourselves we actually reflect that or project that and that's when people treat us exactly how we feel and that's exactly how we don't want to to be treated so we need to try to treat ourselves and project the confidence and the love and the respect we want our future partners to project upon us so with the queen of swords right here of course this is libra gemini Aquarius energy i do feel like you are you are very honest libra you're independent you're intelligent and you're funny as well so you're the full package here there's no doubt in like why somebody wouldn't like you you know the question is like why don't you like yourself the way the universe sees you like whenever you start seeing yourself in the eyes of the universe on the eyes of lilith you will understand how amazing how attractive how funny how the full how you're the full package and how the how full you are of amazing traits that you should ask yourself i am too good why am i allowing people who are not worthy of my time treat me the way they did or treat me the way they are so you need to understand this that also these are changes uh, around you you could be losing some friends you could be losing some family members and not in life and death i'm talking about here the connections that you have just because these people are not gonna like the new energy that you might bring because they like the lower energies because they can actually play you in the way they want so at this point right here just so you know that there is a big change in your energies and there's going to be big changes that are going to allow the inner queen king to come out we got the king of wands right here we have somebody who is very very charming is giving again fire energy this could be uh, leo Sagittarius aries this is somebody who is very charming is energetic it could be rebellious rebellious also i do feel somebody who could be hot-headed like hot tempered too so again you know we need to work on that and maybe find a happy medium then but there is a new energy coming in into your life uh, it's coming in pretty quick i do feel like some of you already know this person others of you are going to be knowing this person pretty damn soon uh, but i do feel like there's a new energy coming your way we got the emperor energy again another fire sign this is aries energy we got here the six of cups in reverse we got here the ten of pentacles we got here the hermit see what else we got here the page of pentacles and our energy thank you so much we got here the four oh ones and at the bottom right here we got the queen of cups right here so with the emperor and with the six of cups in the reverse right here we got here scorpio energy i do see pisces i do see i do see aries energy um I do feel like somebody here who is a protector this this person has uh authority energies and that um oh look at this we also have another one um let me get that later i do feel somebody who um this could be the hot-headed temper because it's like my way or the highway but i do feel right here that with the ace of swords right here libra you also share the same authority energies so you guys have to pretty much um work things out i feel like you guys have similar tempers and similar personalities libra here we got libra gemini Aquarius energy you know that this is a new beginning and if things are not played properly if communication is not used if boundaries are not established this is going to be a destructive relationship you know what i'm saying because you both share the same energies you both share the um authority energies the strong the strong temper here so this right here 
uh, this connection with this person needs to be a breakthrough for you to actually establish boundaries and also to see if this person respects the boundaries, you know, because it points out to be pretty good. But also keep in mind that everything shows up as a possibility. It depends how this person also plays their cards with you. At this point right here, you both have to use communication as key because I do feel like you both could scream at each other at one point when it gets frustrating. I do feel like some of you... Um, um, could use like insults instead of like words when you get frustrated with this person so you guys need to manage things out differently and this is a mutual effort here you both need to work it out a lot because i do feel like this relationship could work because you guys are very amazing very loving very caring but at the same time if you guys are going with your impulse and what with the clashing of tempers with the hot hat situation you guys could actually become quite toxic and at this point is responsibility of the both of you and how to handle things so when i said about your boundaries libra whenever you establish these boundaries if this person is not respecting it if this person is like questioning it that is your first red flag okay so let's not do what we did in the past libra let's not overlook red flags because you love them because you care you understand this you need to understand that a possibility it's not certain until it happens. You know what I'm trying to say? So at this point right here, you both need to work things out. You need to establish boundaries. You need to make sure that they're following it and that you don't have to constantly remind them of doing it. So at this point, this is a sacrifice that if you really want this, it could work. And if you want an easy relationship that doesn't exist, that does not exist, relationships are hard work. And whoever tells you it's simple, most likely they're single. Most likely they're single or they are not faithful to each other. You know what I'm saying? Just so you know. Uh, because even when we talk to our parents and they have been 30, 40 years married to each other, it has not been simple. You ask and you get information. You will see how things were worked on, how things are put under the rug. And that's why back then marriages will last forever because people will put it under the rug. Now in the new era, we don't put nothing under the rug. We don't allow disrespect on neither sides. And we use communication instead of, a, instead of like our hands or our insults you know what i'm saying so at this point right here you need to make it work but communication is key and if this person is not respectful over your boundaries just walk away but there is a very strong fire sign wanting to come into your life that it could be workable but i also see hot head tempers from both of you we got here the ten of pentacles and the six of cups right here uh we do have here that stability is coming your way financially i also see a possibility of a family i also see wealth here and it's not an inherent here Bubu Gaga. it's more about hard work from both parties here um we got the six of cups right here i do feel like the sex life is going to be very pleasurable it's going to be very very amazing right i also see nostalgia in a way um because i feel like this is maybe the love that you have always wanted this could also remind you of somebody that you really loved back then and it's gonna make you feel happy that you found the same kind of love but now you understand that this love that you were seeking was with somebody else i also see playfulness it's like flirtations with each other i do see like this is the start of something new and in a way to perform brings your innocence in it's just like i don't know it just brings a new side of of you that you didn't know maybe was there but with Herman right here, we got Virgo energy as well here. Uh, we also need to know that we need to utilize wisdom energies here. We need to utilize the independence and we need to utilize the fact of withdrawal. Like never be afraid to back out or walk away from something that does not work for you. Also, whenever there is going to be an argument, because I do feel like you guys could be hot headed, both of you, don't be ashamed and don't be uh, mad that you need to withdraw because you don't want to make a bigger argument. Sometimes walking away from an argument is not losing or letting anybody walk up over you. It's more about not adding fire or not adding fuel to the fire also you need to understand to keep your relationship private i know back then when we were younger uh we like to post all our partners in social media and da, 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 da. privacy is key for your success in the relationship let me tell you that i've been keeping my relationship private i've been together with my boyfriend for almost not completely but almost um four years and uh four years i think we're gonna go to four years almost it's like three still but almost four years 
and at this point you barely find any pictures of him on my social medias because i live my relationship private not hidden you know what i'm saying so privacy is key for your relationship to succeed libra keep in mind that private does not mean hidden okay private is in between you and your inner circle you know what i'm saying so at this point if you are the kind of person who likes to post everything online because you know it's something that we do in this society nothing wrong with it just utilize your private utilize the privacy mode more often because there's people around you who are not very happy over your successes this could be baby mamas or baby daddies as well or people who just want what you have you never know libra and this for some of you somebody around you who's a friend is a fake friend and every time you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend uh they automatically add them not because they want to be friends with them it's just because they want to take them away from you so you keep away you keep away the snakes from your relationships from issues from arguments that you don't need because life is hard enough you know what i'm saying we got here with the page of pentacles right here we got um uh somebody here i think you both have this sense of ambitious you guys are ambitious with i do feel like you guys could be amazing partners at work i do feel like you guys share this energy of being ambitious of having more i do feel like you both share the energies of creating businesses traveling you know desiring more so you both bring the best out of you it's because you guys are very alike in the good and in the bad too like i said before the hardest thing on this relationship is gonna be the temper that you both share that is pretty thing i like okay because you both have leadership energy you both are independent and i feel like you both can make it work but you both need to establish the boundaries and use communication instead of the harsh words. you know what i'm saying because again it's not going to be easy but it's a relationship that could work it's just a little bit of not breaking your back but mutual flexibility i do feel like you both care for each other. You guys are consistent with the care of each other. You guys are very organized. I feel like you guys could plan things very good. You guys need to make, make plans. And I feel like you guys are very grounded. So again, it's not a perfect relationship. It's a relationship that's workable. And that's why my readings are down to earth. Because I don't promise you uh, Cinderella. I don't promise you Snow White. I promise you a human relationship that has ups and downs. I told you the difficulties. I told you why. And you guys are responsible to make it work. If you guys want to make it work. Um, with the four of wands right here, it's giving me Aries energy. Again, it's a very strong fire sign. This is your home. This is your celebration. This is your stability. I do feel marriages, graduations, birthday parties. I do feel like you guys have a possibility of getting married. I do see higher levels of commitment. So, you guys, if you guys make it work right here. Sorry, guys, my nose is, my nose is itchy. Uh, you guys could actually have a long-lasting life with each other i also see a high school reunion here i don't know why it's important but i do see a high school reunion this could be a high school sweetheart that you're going to reconnect again of others of you again not all of you some of you with the queen of cups right here use your sensitivity your healer energy your intuition again we see pisces cancer scorpio uh you are use your feminine energy and this has nothing to do with um gender this is more about the chase energy make this person chase you instead of you make it like make them be the runner so i do feel like with this energy you both share there is a lot of like masculine energy and this is again nothing to do with gender it's more about like uh territorial uh leadership uh i take care of myself i protect myself i provide for myself you know but some of you need to I, I feel like it's you Libra I need to be in touch a little bit more in touch with your feminine side so this person can pamper you so this person can care for you so this person can give you what you want because you are a very strong person Libra but it's because this is what you have to do to survive life you know like most of the people that you have dated have make you the divine masculine you know and you are deep down sensitive you want somebody who pampers you to hug you to tell you how much you mean for them to love you unconditionally but whenever you come across these people that you had in the past you have to become the divine masculine which is i give i protect 
I told you how I feel. I, you know, all of that is you, you, you. And you have got used to that energy. And it's hard for you to back down. And I understand that. But you need to embrace the divine feminine energy that there is within you because it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive that. So at this point right here, just make sure to use your intuition. Make sure to use your sensitivity, sensitivity and get connected to it. Um, to the feminine fem, feminine energy that lives within you and i also see that you could be a little bit more shy at times so this person gives you what you need because i do feel like it's time for you to get, to receive and not to give and i feel like it's some adjustment that needs to happen because you have been the divine masculine for so long that you don't know how to be the feminine energy anymore but little by little becomes a lot allow this person to pamper you how you had pamper others it's your time to be the one receiving Oof, the empress divine feminine energy again libra energy again allow this person to nurture you allow this person to care for you this is a divine energy coming into your life i do feel like some of you also can actually experience some uh surprise pregnancies for others of you not all of you of course some of you but i do feel like you need to embrace the divine feminine so you are the one receiving it's your time to receive and i do feel like it's some it's kind of harsh for some of you but consider uh be more connected to your divine feminine energy so you can actually receive i do feel like there's a need of an adjustment that's that could be the 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 changes we were talking in the beginning of this reading libra so these are the possible initials of this person that's coming into your life libra so here we got ts and tyler ages and hamburger um ys and yes um MS and Michelle, QS and Kesso, Z and Zane, X and Xavier, PS and Peter, Ellis and Leo, and then we got RS and Rose, and I always do this right here. We got US and Umbrella, um, my goodness, IS and Ian, OS and Oscar, and S and Sam, and those are the possible initials of this person. This could be the first, last medal, or even a nickname. Before I go, I want to give you the Spirit to Animal deck card to see what is up for you, and that's that. So at the bottom, we got dog and it says friend. It says today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasms are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and a friend. We got eagle mastery. This says you are in a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirits. Your wisdom inspires the world. Then we got sea otter. It says happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves your good destiny of love is sure and this is personal choice and it says close your eyes what animal do you imagine what strengths are they known for what wisdom do they share embrace these qualities so this is the end of your reading for my libra singles thank you so much for watching do not forget to like and subscribe and again if you want to get an opportunity to win a free reading make sure to subscribe to my channel because every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers i host a free reading giveaway right now i'm still working on it because i'm waiting for my channel to hit a certain numbers once my channel has hit the numbers i seek that's when i'm going to make the video of course i also every month i choose one lucky subscriber this month i want to choose two again and i'm going to read their card on a youtube short so if you want to be considered make sure to subscribe to my channel as i said before please do not message me inquiring for the giveaways i give because once i do want to give them i'm going to make a video explaining how to participate and what do you need to do so messaging me on my dms or my email does not make anything because everybody has the equal right in my eyes to win so make sure to know that you're more than welcome to email me if you want to but once again that's not going to ensure anything because again everybody has the equal right to be a winner so with this said uh most likely i show you my social media so if you follow me on instagram i follow you back i also have a tiktok that i do small readings over there um I have a small group on Facebook that I'm trying to grow. I have an upcoming project of a Patreon on my Patreon. I have yet to launch it, but over there, I'm going to be offering tarot card readings as well. I'm sorry, classes as well as uncensored readings, uh, blogs, uh, podcasts, and so on. I have also a website that I do personal readings. So if you want to book, you can only book online. It's going to be always on the link provided in the description box below. And you can book and you see the specific days that i work 
again, I also have to mention that um, every sale that I offer, it has a specific date. If you choose that sale and you book it on a different date, instead of the date that it's been advertised, it's gonna get declined because sales are only for one day only. As well as, again, I have limitations. If I overbook, I have to cancel because once again, that um uh, in my ch in my website everybody can book and it goes on the order people book so sometimes people book and they don't get the spot because somebody else booked already so with this said it's complicated but if you got questions i can answer it through the dm so with this said um you can also book directly on my instagram there is the book now button available on the bio so if you want to book directly on my instagram that's also there for you as always i do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and i never message anybody on any of my platforms inquiring readings so if that were to happen is not my account feel free to report and block okay so with this said guys thank you so much for the love and support i have i hope you guys have an amazing day and see you guys soon